This is the Jamaica Inn in the middle of Bodmin Moor in Cornwall. Today it's something of a tourist trap or a spot for people of a certain age to come for Sunday lunch, but it was once a haunt for hardened criminals and brigands, a real-life Star Wars cantina, a wretched hive of scum and villainy. And this is because the location was a staging post where smugglers and worse would change their horses. Long the site of an inn, the current iteration dates from 1750, with alterations taking place in 1778 to install a tack room, coach house and stables. The rather exotic name derives from the Trelawney family of landowners, with two of the family serving as governors of Jamaica in the 18th century. The site became popular with those who practiced smuggling, a pursuit that was both big business and a necessity for subsistence in the fairly impoverished southwestern county. Smugglers used around a hundred secret routes to shift their hot goods. And, while aside from the taxman, smuggling could be argued as being something of a victimless crime in the Cornwall of Tricorn Hats and Ross Poldark, the same cannot be said of a connected and far darker enterprise, that of wrecking. This was something that was plainly and simply murderous. An artwork depicting this heinous practice, where groups of wreckers would ensnare ships on the rocky coastline by tricking them with lights which they purposely installed on the shores, hangs on the wall at the venue. After being lured onto the rocks, the stricken vessels would then be looted by the wrecking crews. A plaque accompanying the painting highlights the horror of the crime. It reads, Cries for help forever silenced as Joss Merlin and his band of wreckers and murderers from Jamaica Inn carry out their evil tasks. From the famous story by Daphne du Maurier, Jamaica Inn. Another plaque on the walls outside the Jamaica Inn reads, The Museum of Smuggling presents a record of classical examples in the arts of concealment and evasion. The small but well-stocked museum holds a fascinating collection of artefacts pertaining to the smuggling of all manner of wares from silk, tea, tobacco and liquor. Bases of operations included the rugged and remote Trebarwith, which is now a beautiful location off the beaten track, and the Arthurian-linked Tintagel. This is because of the lack of law enforcement on the northern coast, and even if smugglers were caught, they were likely to receive a lenient sentence because of corrupt judges being on the take and receiving a cut of the illicit loot. The museum is an Aladdin's cave of piratical and smuggler-based gems, from wanted posters, art, models, weapons and chests to clothing and ornaments, and even a mysterious human skull. There is also a display of items owned by the aforementioned Daphne du Maurier, who stayed at the inn in 1930, including her writing desk and typewriter. And there are some great creepy mannequins showing off period costume. So, if you happen to be in the middle of Bodmin Moor, you can walk in the hoof steps of some of history's most shady characters. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe and you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.